Good evening, Anna. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Great. How was your day? Oof. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, work. Okay, full of work. All right. So you're getting ready for the students to come back, I guess. Uh, I don't understand. Oh, you were getting ready for students to come back. Se están preparando para que regresen los estudiantes. Uh, oh. Yes, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. <laughs> I know. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is really difficult. I also work in a school in the morning. So, yes, we're getting ready as well. We're working on that. And, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, hard. teacher. I... I clean, clean uh, the classroom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I use a uh, uh, mascarilla teacher. Mask? Face mask? Ah, mask. Uh, uh, all, all day. Mm, yeah, that's very mm -hmm. tidy as well. Uh -huh. yeah, it's really uh -huh. comfortable. Yes. Yes. Do you teach at primary school or what is it? What teacher? Do you teach at, at a primary school? Trabaja en una escuela primaria? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, tercer ciclo. ¿Cómo lo digo? Oh, okay. Uh, third. Well, there is not cycle, you can say. I mean. Cycle. Uh -huh. Yeah. But uh, in English, it would be is, kind of is, different, but. Uh -huh. It's very, very difficult in, uh, como se dice, inquietos. Um, they are sassy. Ah. <laughs> sassy, that's how you say sí. it. <laughs> sassy. I know. <laughs> yes, right. Those ages are kind of difficult as well, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I work with little kids. Um, they are from first to third grade, so they are little. Mm. <laughs> yes. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> So what else did you do? Or do you work all, all day, Anna? You work only in the mornings, all, in the afternoons? All day. Or you work all, all day. day? All day. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. you work for a long shift. That's very hard, yeah. very tidying. <laughs> OK. But do you work yes. in the same school, both in the mornings and afternoons, or in different ones? Mm. I, I don't, I don't do you, understand. Okay, do you work in the same school in the morning and in the afternoon? I, I no, in the same school. In mm -hmm. the same one, oh, okay. Uh -huh. All right, okay. that's good. Mm -hmm. For, um, uh, oof, 10, mm -hmm. no, 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 27, 20, 27 years. Okay. Oh, you've been there for I, 27 yes. years. Wow. <laughs> I, you got I, a lot of experience. Tired and <laughs> cansada, tired, ¿verdad? Yes, tired. Uh -huh, yes, tired. I guess, I bet. Uh -huh, yes. <laughs> okay, so you, you're going to retire soon. <laughs> Está pronto <Yes>. al retiro. <laughs> That's yeah, very yeah. nice. Three, three years. Yes, right. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, that's very good, Anna. Okay, teacher. Hey, Carlos, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. And you, Carlos? Uh, so, so. At this moment, I'm working in other window, the machine. Oh, oh really? <laughs> and my voice to here, 
my 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 in other other things so. oh okay yeah okay. yeah it's hard when you have so many things to do right yes yes teacher but i am here i am here all right that's great okay teacher. basilia good evening good evening teacher how are you i'm fine Good. How was your day? A little tired, but mm -hmm. good. Okay, that's great. What did you do today? Um, what was the, what do you say, ducha? The shower? shower. Mm -hmm. The shower, um, wash the, the bathroom, and Everything in my house. Just cleaning. Cleaning. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. That's nice, Basilia. Vivina Contreras. Good evening. Vina Contreras. Good evening. Boris Rodriguez, good evening. Hello, Boris. Oh, no, Dina, I cannot hear you. Boris Rodriguez, good evening. Okay, so we're only a few today, but let's start with the class because it's time already. So let's go on. And I guess the others are going to join soon. So welcome everybody to our class. Um, we are having the almost the last class, right? We're just missing one after this one. So it's very good news. You're almost done with the pre-intermediate module one and then you're going to pre-intermediate two, which is nice. And so let's start by reviewing the use of the present continuous. Do you remember in what cases or in what situations we use the present continuous? What's its use? The action in the moment. Okay, we use it for talking about actions happening at the moment of speaking. And there's also a second use, what is it? Use. So we use it for things that are happening now, for example, that we are taking a class and we also use it in, for example, to say that this weekend I'm going out with my friends. What is that use? Okay, apart from talking about things happening now, we use it for near future, right? Things that are happening tomorrow, this week, or maybe next week. So we use it for both the present something that is happening right now at the moment or the future that is near. near then near. let's remember that the structure that we follow to make sentences is subject then the verb be the verb in ing and the complement so we got some examples we are listening to the teacher they are eating sandwiches i am working on my computer as you see, we use the subject first, then the verb be. Remember that you can use either the full form or the contracted form. So you could say we're listening to the teacher or we are listening to the teacher. They are eating sandwiches or they're eating sandwiches. 
I am working on my computer or I'm working on my computer. So you can use both the contracted forms or the full forms or the complete forms. And can you make some other examples? What's going on around you? What's happening there where you are? Tell me about it. Let's see, uh, Carlos, tell me about two things that are happening in your house at the moment. Okay, I, I working okay. in my computer. Uh -huh. uh, another question, another say, my wife, she's cooking, she's cooking in this moment. Okay, very well. Basilia, tell me about two things that are happening around you. I brushing my teeth. Okay. Um, I clean the dishes. I cleaning the dishes. Clean the dishes. Okay, good. Thank you. Ana del Carmen, give me two examples, please. Um, I writing, writing. In, mm -hmm. in my book. Okay. I, I teacher, eh, sí, ver, eh, ¿cómo lo digo en el presente continuo? Sing. 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 Mm -hmm. I sing um, a teacher. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Ana. Flor Esmeralda. Can you give me two examples, please? I am watching TV with my son. Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. Can you make another example? A second example? Mm -hmm. Perdón, otro ejemplo. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. I reading my class All right. of English. Very well, Flora. <laughs> Thanks. And let me see, Adriana, can you make some other examples, please? Perdón, teacher, no, Adriana, no la escuché bien. Yes, Adriana. Okay. Um, the two examples, I am hearing Hearing and how that. Uh, can you repeat the last one, please? I am hearing hot dog. Okay, eating a hot dog. And what else? My brother is washing TV. Okay, very well, Diana. Thanks. Cecilia Estrada, do you have some other examples? Um, I I am drinking coffee mm -hmm. and I am reading emails. All right. Very well, Cecilia. Thanks. Vladimir Tolentino, can you make some other examples, please? Uh, I play in the piano and I read in the score music. Okay. Excellent. All right, now let's talk about some time expressions that we can use with the present continuous. Uh, first of all, we can use now, right? As I am talking on the phone now. And then we have right now. Right now is similar to now, right? Just more specific, let's say. Um, what can we say? We're learning English right now, or we're in, we're taking an English class right now. Then we have at the moment. Can you make an example using at the moment? Anybody? Think about it. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So I think about something that is happening at the moment, at this moment. Okay, so let's uh, let me provide you an example. Uh, let's say we're watching a movie at the moment. Then another time expression we can use with the present continuous is today. For example, uh, when you say I'm going to the office today, we also get tomorrow, which is to refer to the near future. Um, we could say like tomorrow I'm taking my daughter to school. Next one is this week. This week I'm traveling to Spain. And we also got this month. We could say something like this month I'm, a, I'm taking French classes or I'm taking French classes this month. So you can use those expressions at the beginning or at the end of the sentences. Let me write some of them so we get a clearer idea. So we can say, for example, taking an English class now. My kids are watching a movie at the moment. And let's see if tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to the office. And you could also say it the other way, like I'm going to the office tomorrow. And this week, I'm traveling to New York. Or the other way around, I'm traveling to New York this week. So you see how we can use the different time expressions at the end of the sentence or also at the beginning of it. So that will be how we use the time expressions. Now everybody repeat. Now. 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 Right now. Right, right now. now. At the moment. At, at the moment. moment. Today. 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 Tomorrow. Tomorrow. This week. This week. This week. This month. This month. Very well. Um, let me just check this. That's okay, Dina. Don't worry. Okay, let's continue by talking about the negative form of the present continuous. So this is the structure that we follow. We first have an, a subject, then we add the verb be, once again in the forms am, is, or are. And then we have the not for indicating the negative. After the not, we add the verb in ing and then a complement. Let's try to make some examples. So we can say, for example, I'm not talking on the phone. I'm not talking on the phone. Um, we are not reading the newspaper. It is not um, making a report. 
So there we go. That's how we make sentences in the negative form of the person continues. We use the subject, I, we, or she, then the verb be in the forms am, um, are, or is. Then we add not, as you see here. And then the verb in the ing, talking, reading, making, then the complements. Can we make some other examples, please? Any ideas? He's not studying for the exam. He's not studying for the exam. Mm -hmm. They are not watching the movie. They are not watching the movie. Any other? Can you think of some more examples, please? Let's see, Charlie, do you have one? Mm, he's not driving a car. He's not driving a car, very well. She's, she's not... Um... Cooking the dinner. Cooking dinner or making dinner, good. Any other, let me see. Marvel, can you make one please? Let's see Marvel. He is not uh... Playing the piano. He's not playing the piano. Very well. All right, we got plenty of examples. Now let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat. I'm not talking on the phone. I'm not, I'm not, not talking not on the phone. I'm not talking on the phone. We are not reading the newspaper. We, we are, are not reading the newspaper. We are not reading the newspaper. She is not making a report. She's, She's not, not making, making a report. A report. She's making a report. He's not studying for the exam. He's, He's not, not studying, studying for, for the exam. exam. They are not watching a movie. They are, they are not, they not are watching the movie. the movie. He's not driving a car. He's, He's not, not driving, driving a, a car. car. She's not cooking dinner. She's not cooking dinner. dinner. He's not playing the piano. He's not, not playing, the, playing the, piano. the piano. Very well. Now let's continue by talking about the yes, no, yes, questions. no questions. So how do we make those? Remember that in order to make yes, no questions, we change the order of the elements in the sentence. So in this case, we do not start with a subject, but we start with the verb be. So the questions start with am, is, or are. Then we add the subject. After the subject, we got the verb in ing, and then the complement and the question mark. Here we have an example. Are they buying Christmas gifts? Are they buying Christmas gifts? So you see, we start with the verb be, are. Then we have the subject, they. The verb in ing, buying, and then the complement. And the answers would be, yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Then the long answers would be, yes, they are buying Christmas gifts. No, they are not buying Christmas gifts. And a second example would be, is your father working now? What can you answer to that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. He yes, is. my father. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No. No. It's He's not. He's not. He's not or he isn't. And the long answers would be? Yes, my father. My father working now. He's working yeah. right now. My father is working, working now. now. Or the negative, no. 
No. Oh, my father. My father. No, he. Father no, my father, father is he? working now. No, father isn't. Isn't. Isn't working now. Working. Work. Isn't working. Okay. No. Okay, very well. That's what we got for the answers. Is your father working now? Yes, he is. No, he is not. Yes, my father is working now. No, my father isn't working now. And can we make some other examples of yes, no questions? Can you help me with some others? Let's see. Is he studying for the exam? Is he studying for the exam? Very well. Any other? Is he playing guitar? Is he playing the guitar? Great. Let's make some more. Think about it. Give me some examples of yes, no questions in the simple present. Are we reading the presentation now? Okay, are we reading the presentation now? Good. Any other? Are they playing video games? Are they playing video games? Okay, excellent. So remember, we start with the verb be. So we start with am, um, is, or are. And uh, let's see what we got next. We're going to practice by uh, solving some exercises. So we have to write the corresponding ing verb forms in exercise one. We got a list of verbs. We are going to write the ing forms. For example, sing becomes singing. And then remember about the different rules, right? Remember that some verbs take double a double consonant. Um, in the case of the verbs that end in e, you remove the e or you drop it and then you add ing and so on, right? So just remember about the different rules we studied yesterday. Then after doing this, I want you to go to exercise number two and make some sentences in the present continuous. Uh, here we have some different information that we're going to use in order to make the sentences. Number one, I wash the dishes. What is the sentence? I'm washing. I am washing the dishes. I am the washing dishes. the dishes or I'm washing the dishes. Good. That is what you have to do. In exercise three, you have to unscramble the sentences. Here you have different sentences and you have to put the words in the right order. For example, number one, can you unscramble it? I'm not working I'm not today. Working, um, I am not working I'm today. I'm not working today. Very well. And in exercise four, we have to make sentences in the affirmative, negative, and interrogative form. So here we got um, some information and we make sentences in the three forms. So we got, for example, the dolphin play in the sea. The dolphin is playing in the sea. Make it negative, please. The dolphin is not playing in the sea. No. Okay, and the question is? Is the dolphin playing the sea? Is the dolphin playing in the sea? Okay, very good. That is what you have to do. So let me send you to the breakout rooms so you get some time to work on this. And then we come back and we check. Okay, there we go. And I'll send the, the screenshots to the WhatsApp group in a moment.
Mm-hmm. Uh, wing. And do? Do? Do. Do wing. Uh, do como es? I think it's do wing. <laughs> do. I'm doing. I'm doing. doing my homework. Doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Smoke, smoking. Smoking. Close. Close, close, close. 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 Eliminamos la E. Eliminamos la E de close. Close. Uh, yes, sí. Uh -huh. Ah, thank you, teacher. Okay. Sí. La eliminamos, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Yes. Closing. Closing. Mm -hmm. Sí, yo por eso lo veía raro. Igual que smoke. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Smoke, ajá, eh, uh -huh. yes. Eliminate. Eliminate. Eh, eliminate. Eh, e. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Practice. Practice. Es similar. Similar, yes. Similar. Para this. Mm -hmm. Sky. Similar. Es que hay esquiar, ¿verdad? Es que hay skating. Skate, eh, patinar. Sí. Patinar. Ah, patinar. Ok. Right. Okay. Okay. Teacher, ya me escuchan. Oh, yeah, I had a really nice. Mm -hmm. Que lío. Thank you, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> yes, don't worry about it. It happens. Writing. Try writing. Asking. Asking. Clean. Claving. Claving. Enjoying. Enjoying. Only. Only and then the, the exercise two. Exercise two. Uh, make the centers in the present. Okay. I watching. The dish. I watching the dish dishness dish. The dishes. Dishes. Yes. Dishes. I watch uh, the dishes. Washing. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Number two. We doing. We are doing the homework. We? Yes. We are. We are doing. We are. We are doing. We are, we are doing, Bear. Doing. doing the homework. The homework. She. She's. No. She's. She's. Talking. Talking. Hey. On the phone. What is the pronunciation? Talking or talking? Talking. 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 Yes. Talking. On the phone. You are you uh, number four. You are writing a poem. You are writing. Writing. Uh -huh. A poem. Are writing a poem. Number five. He's plays basketball. Playing. He's playing. He's playing. 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 Basketball. Playing. Playing. Number six. Six. They are doing. They this. are. Doing, doing exercise. Doing, yes. 
Number six. Uh, it means seven. It is eating. It's full. It is eating. Ah. It's eating, be. It's eating. Food. Eight. Number eight. They are. They are. They are buying some fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Enjoy time. Pero cuando aparece en el, cuando nos unimos a los grupos, nos aparece en join. No es lo mismo, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo? Como cuando nos unimos al grupo aparece el... That is the verb join, join. It's different. So join would be um, unirse, join. That is a... And then we have a enjoy, which is disfrutar. So they are different. Ya tenemos ese cambio. Mm, sí. Sí, por favor. Ahí vos. Mike said, ten, 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 ten. <risa> ¿Qué, ¿Qué íbamos a hacer? Ya no me acuerdo. El ING, creo que. Hacer ah. las oraciones con el presente continuo. Ah, bueno, gracias. Verdad que ahí vamos a poner, o sea, vamos a hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? You're making affirmative sentences. Ajá. For example, in the first one, eh, I am wash the dishes. You say, I am washing the dishes or I'm washing the dishes. Mm. Ay, yo no sé si voy bien, pero en, en la tres puse she is talking on the phone. Estará bien. That's right. She is talking on the phone. Gracias. 
Okay. Teacher, yo, no, quizás yo no he entendido bien. Ahí está la oración, pero nosotros la vamos a pasar a, a, a pregunta. No, ustedes van a hacer no? la oración en el presente ¿Y esa es la continuo. Ajá. Eh, es que acá tenemos solo la información, por así decirlo. Uh -huh. Tenemos, I wash the dishes. Uh -huh. Entonces, usted escribe la oración, I'm washing the dishes, or I am washing the dishes. Number two. We do the homework. We are doing the homework. Tiene ah. que ir formando la oración en presente continuo, utilizando uh -huh. el verb be y el verbo en ing. Ah, ok. Teacher, la, la cinco puse he is play, playing basketball. Yes, that is correct. He is playing basketball. Y entonces el 6 sería They are doing exercise Yes, you're fine ah, Gracias Teacher Okay. Disculpe, en la 1 es washed, se le agrega el ed al final en mm, wash. No, o washing, cuál es el ing. Ah, sí, uh -huh. porque ahí sí creo que lo escribí más. Ajá, porque le agregué el is a saber, porque el es. Oh, ese sería sí. para tercera persona, present simple. Ah, se me hicieron uh -huh. nudo las. <laughs> Don't worry. Hi there. Hello, Hi, teacher. teacher. How are you We're doing? Finished. Oh, you finished with everything? Yes. yes. Oh, all right. That was fast. Very well. Do you have any questions about any of the four exercises? No, no teacher. No, teacher. no questions. Okay, fine. So we'll get back in just a moment. Okay. Okay. Yeah.
Gracias, Marvel. Avisen. <risa> Aquí creo que entiendo que hay que, arreg hay que ordenarlo. Ordenarlas. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces la primera dio ella el ejemplo que es I am not working, working today. today. Uh -huh. Entonces en la segunda, eh, the gear será not, the is not gear wearing, is not wearing, wearing sunglasses. sunglasses. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Ah, vale. Yeah. Uh -huh. La tres sería they are not they, they are not eating soap. ¿Cómo? Eating soap. Eating soap. Eating. 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 La teacher por ahí está escuchando. A teacher. Sí, mejor. Yes, I'm monitoring. <laughs> está bueno. All right, I think everybody's back. How was the practice? Good. That's good. Okay, did everybody finish? No, yet. Take you didn't. Four. Okay, you didn't get to exercise four. And yeah, there was a group that, that got it. And okay. All right, don't worry about it. We are going to complete the exercises tomorrow or together so we can check the answers. And now I just want to take some minutes to explore the final exam. I know many of you have already taken it, but um, let's just take a couple of minutes so we can check it and see what we have to do in that one, just in case that a one or some of you haven't done it. So let me explain it. And let me remind you that today is the last day to work in the platform. So please, if you have not finished or worked on the platform, do it tonight because this is the last day. The platform closes soon. So please uh, do your best to complete your work. In the first uh, part, we got a listening exercise. We have to listen to the conversation and select the correct answers. So here you have the audio, you just play it, you listen to it. And the recommendation is that you listen the most three times. And, and it is not necessary to understand everything, but to get the information you are asked for. 
Um, here we got, for example, Catherine has, you got four, seven, nine brothers and sisters. So you just check the right answer, you mark it. Then um, let's see, you got four different questions to answer. Then in exercise B, we have to complete conversations. Here we have a um, complete the sentences with do, does, or would. Remember that we use do for the subjects I, you, we, and they, and does for the third person, he, she, and it. And remember about the use of would for imitations. So here you just uh, read this and then you type your answers. It could be do, does, or would. Remember to be careful with the spacing and the punctuation, please. Also capitalization is important. Then in part number two, you have to complete the following conversations. Use the present continuous of the verbs. So uh, here you have to do something different to the part number one, but uh, you have to use the present continuous, which is the one that we're practicing in this class. Remember we use the verb be plus the verb in ing. Next, we got a multiple choice exercise. We have to choose the correct word. Here we have some sentences and questions with some blanks. And we just choose the word that corresponds in the space. And in section F or in part F, you have to work on a reading comprehension. You read the article and then check the correct answers. Here you have the article, you read it carefully. Then you have to select the right options over here in order to complete the sentences with the right information. And that will be all for the final exam. And do we have any questions about this? No questions? Not yet. All right, excellent. So that will be all for today's class. Thanks everyone. Take care. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. See you good tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.